सुबह वाले बैच में तो कब फास्ट गया फास्ट जा रहा था डी सी में अलग चले गए थे कब अलग जैसे ठीक है दो दिन भी लगा दिया अब मजाक पढ़ ले आप ठीक है चलो धीरे धीरे स्विच वी हैव सम होस्ट वी हैव द स्विच वन स्विच होस्ट वन एंड होस्ट टू ऑफ कोर्स यू कैन गो आउटसाइड एंड स्विच ऑफ द लाइट PC one, PC two, two, PC no three, PC no four. Switch one, switch two. Shanti se badda, so na samajh na jayega. Khelani to samajh nahi aayega bhai. Important topic hai. Abey reflex hum bolu bolu. लॉटर वन लॉटर नंबर टू टू लॉटर वन टू लॉटर टू राइट दिस गाय हैज अ नेटवर्क सबमिट वन नाइन वन सिक्योर टू लॉटर जीरो सबमिट स्टार्स ट्वेंटी फोर दिस गाय विल बी वन नाइन वन सिक्योर वन लॉटर जीरो स्टार्स ट्वेंटी फोर एंड दिस गाय विल बी टू लॉटर जीरो स्टार्स ट्वेंटी फोर डन डन ओके दिस इज माय डीएचसी This one DSP server. So on this server, what happened? Try to understand. This is the one location we have. It's a Delhi, right? And it's a Bangalore location. So in Delhi location, we have a DSP server. Okay. And from the DSP server, what happened? We can allocate the dynamically IP to the this host and this host as well as, right? We have a Bangalore location as well as, right? Do I need to make this guy as a DSP server? See the try to understand in 1984, right? We had a protocol that was a reverse ARP, right? What was the issue with the reverse ARP? It was it was a layer two, right? Mm -hmm. So it does not provide the any submit mask information and like uh, the do you know the problem the RARP also was if you have a 1,000 submits, mm -hmm. right? You need to have a 1,000 RARP server. Mm -hmm. So this issue, the only this issue, right, has resolved. in like you know boot p protocol right boot p was awesome and in that case what happened if you have 1000 subnet you need to have a one boot p server right after that what happened what is the issue with the boot p the boot p is does not giving the all information that's why we enter the dscp and still the dscp has some concept of boot p as well as it means that doesn't matter doesn't matter how many subnets you have doesn't matter how many subnets you have for example if the you have a 1000 branch office for the 1000 branch office what happen we can have only one dhcp server right we can have only one dhcp server try to understand what i am going to do in this router one number one i am going to create a pool number one ip dhcp pool right for the delhi branch and as the network Slash twenty four, right? And default order will be the IP address of the interface, right? Done. Same thing. I need to create a, another proof for what? Bangalore location, right? Network will be slash twenty four, and default order will be hundred, right? Now, tell me one thing. When this person, right? 
when this pc will be making a request packet discord packet in this discord packet source mac will be what the, this mac address pc distance mac will be fff source ip will be destination source of uh, uh, protocol number 17 source port number destination this packet will reach the switch one what switch will do broadcast this packet right router on router number one what happened this service is enabled dscp service what number 67 is open right what they will do accept this packet and they will give the ip to the other guy right no router break broadcast domain this thing we know right router break broadcast domain clear now router break broadcast domain each interface of the router has a separate broadcast domain each interface of router has a separate broadcast domain now tell me if this pc right is going to make a request for the ip source mac distance mac source ip distance ip protocol number source port number distance port number this packet is going to switch what system will do based on the distance mac broadcast this packet right what router number two will do router number two what sir your voice is not audible Okay, I say, okay, one minute. The voice is breaking. One, 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 Okay. Now, what I'm trying to say that this is the packet that generates the PC number one, right? Okay. The has source MAC address A, distance like FFF, source IP 00, distance IP 255, source uh, protocol number 17, source port number 68, distance number 67. When this packet comes to the switch, right? What switch will do? It will broadcast this packet, router will receive this packet, and from this pool, they will allocate this information to the this guy, right? Clear? Now, when the PC number three, when the PC number three will generate a Discord packet, source MAC will receive distance IP FFF, source IP 00, distance IP broadcast, protocol number 17, source port number 68, distance port number 67. When this packet comes to the switch two, right? What switch two will do? Broadcast. What router will do in this case? What router two will do in this case? Why? Yeah, pay router gagrega, it will drop the packet. The reason is very simple because router break the broadcast domain. It will never ever forward the broadcast packet. Huh? It's not a sort of a you cut you cutting So you have I just have one DSCP server, right? I have a multiple branch office for the multiple branch office. We just need to have one server. Many pool when I have is submit I just create the pool for this submit on which router. Right. So in this case, what happened? Router 2 will receive this packet on this particular interface and they will drop it because by default, router does not follow the broadcast packet. Router does not follow the broadcast packet. They will just drop it. Right now, if you see one thing,
क्यों हंस रहा मैं नया हंसता हूँ वैसे क्यों हंस रहा मैं मैं क्यों नहीं हंसूंगा मैं तो हमेशा हंसता हूँ ऐसा क्या ओके हाँ बोलो बहुत हो गया मजा Two office Delhi and Mumbai, right? Two dot zero subnet. This guy and one dot zero subnet. Client, client. If you see on a router number one. So IP interface brief. I don't have any IP addresses, right? So let's configure interface zero slash zero. One ninety one sixty one hundred hundred slash twenty four. No sir, no. Interface zero slash one. IP address will be fourteen hundred one slash twenty four. No sir, no. Done. Debug IP DHCP server events class and linkage. ये जो डिबग मैं दिखा रहा हूँ हाँ सिखाऊंगा अभी अभी सिखाता हूँ ए बी सी पुल डेली राइट नेटवर्क सर कैन यू एक्सप्लेन दिस डिबग कैम एंड सर इवेंट क्लास एंड नाउ सर या आई एक्सप्लेन वन मिनट आई जस्ट एक्सप्लेन यू डोंट वेट फॉर दैट आई एक्सप्लेन डिफॉल्ट ऑर्डर वन हंड्रेड डन क्लियर now so i'll explain those debug command don't worry about it and i said ip dc pool from mumbai right network this submit 2.0/24 that this guy right 2.0/24 and default order will be what 200 right that this guy so we one pool for the delhi and one pool for the mumbai done Just go on router number four now. This interface, this two interface, zero slash zero and zero slash one. Interface zero slash one. IP address will be done. Perfect. Go back to the router number one now. Capture this link. This client router number two, right? Interface zero slash zero. No shut down. IP address DHCP. This client, right? This client is going to, going to make a request, and they will take the IP from the this server, right? And they will get the IP. Done. One on one. Done. Okay, open this packet. And discover packet. Source port sixty eight, destination port sixty seven. Right. This PC got the IP address because my server is present my own LAN network. Right. This server is present in my own LAN network. That's why this PC will get the IP address. What about the this PC now? When R three, if you capture this link. One R three interface zero slash zero. IP address DHCP no sir. Send the Discord packet. Who is sending? What is the MAC address of this person R three? Do so. Interface zero slash zero include VIA right? C two zero three right? Open this packet, Discord packet. C two zero three is sending the packet, right? R three is sending the packet. What happened? Why getting any offer? No, why? Because when this person is going to make a request for the disk IP, right? Where is the pool? This is my DHCP server that is present Delhi location, right? Different subnet.
what router four is doing? I'm receiving the packet on this particular interface. The packet is what source IP 0.0 and destination is broadcast, right? I will never forward the packet from this interface to this interface. Broadcast packet will be never routed. Just because each interface of the router represent separate broadcast domain. Now tell me which one is the correct reason, this one or this one? Why this router is not following the broadcast packet? Because of this guy or this guy? Both are same, right? According to you right now. Try to understand on the route of this interface, 0 slash 1, right? If you see one thing, do show interface 0 slash 1. Sorry. Do show IP interface 0 slash 1. Insert again. Check R4 IP. IP is there. 2.100. See. By default, on the router interface, broadcast capability is disabled. See, one thing we can enable it. One thing we can enable it. But that is never ever recommendation to enable the broadcast capability. You can enable it by putting this into command interface 0 slash 1 IP directed broadcast. I can enable it. But what happened? First of all, this is never ever recommendation because otherwise what happened? If any broadcast coming packet is coming to the R4, they will flood to the every subnet. Second thing, you have to enable this command on every router. Even in between you have an ISP. ISP will never allow to enable this command. That's why by default this command is disabled. Not because of the router does not follow the broadcast packet. By default the behavior is disabled. Clear? So what I'm going to do, router See, this guy, this router, say that, hey, I can forward multicast packet and unicast. But by default, multicast is disabled. So this thing is not possible, right? Unicast is Enable by using which command? IP routing. This command is going to enable the unicast behavior on router. So what we have to do over there, guys, this packet that What this guy is going to do, this packet, right? Source packet, this is what? C203, right? This is Mac, FFF, source IP, distance IP, protocol number, source port number. This packet is going to the R4, right? By default, a router only for what? Unicast packet. Because Unicast capability is enabled, right? For routed, I'm going to route this packet, Unicast packet, I'm going to route. I'm going to route the unicast packet, right? So what we have to do, I need to convert this packet into the unicast. This IP that is 0 0.0.255, I need to convert into the unicast. And how do I convert? I just need to go on this particular interface R40 slash one.
because on this particular interface, I'm receiving the packet, right? This particular interface. I need to tell this person, hey, if any packet is coming to you, right? Please send the packet to this particular address. Please send the packet to this particular address by implementing or your own as a source address. So now this packet will be converted into the unicast. So now see the R3. Now R3 will get the IP address. Shut down. No shut. Yep. Will R3 get the IP address? Okay. Can R1 ping this network 2.0 some net? Yes, sir. 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 Now R3 will get the IP address. Wait for some time. Discord, Discord is coming. No. I have just asked you in the IP 129. The 120. Okay, sorry. Thanks, sorry. This interface. On the LAN side, because on this particular interface, I'm receiving the packet broadcast packet. Shut down. No shut. See, those two IP interface brief. Dotaipi. Try to understand how the packet is converted. This was the packet, right? This packet is now going to convert into the source IP address value what? 2.100 distance IP 14.1. And now this packet will send to the R1. In this case, what happened? After enabling the IP helper address. On which interface? Towards which guy? 1401, right? After enabling this interface, what happened? This router is behave like a DHCP relay agent. So once this guy will become a DHCP relay agent, what happened? Your source port number will become the 67 or destination port. That's because he is now server and he is also now. Previously, this was the client, so he was using the port number. Now this guy becomes the server, and this guy also behave like a server. Yeah. Yeah. After putting this command IP helper desk putting dot one, what happened? This guy is behave like a DSP relay agent. And if this guy will behave like a DSP relay agent, it means that this guy is behave like a server. If this guy is behave like a server, so what happened? What is the server port number? 67. And distance of port also will be what? Now clear. So if you have a look over there now, guys. Between this capture R1 and R4 DHCP. What client is sending? Sixty-eight. The client is sending this packet, right? Sixty-eight, sixty-seven. What server is doing? And what are the IP address of this guy now? Two to hundred. Where I configure the IP helper address, right? And distance IP. 
where I configure the IP helper address on this particular interface, right? On this interface, I've configured the IP helper address towards which guy? Clear? Ops. In the normal DSC packet, do we have any relevant information? Because now we have a relevant. This point is clear, guys. Anyone has a questions? Let me know the configurations uh, means of DHCP in R4. Uh, show run. Show, show run interface zero slash one. Okay, sir. Thank you. And if you see the offer packet, in the offer packet, they are giving the IP address. With the relation 2.100, your client IP address 2.1. DSCP server identifier is of 14.1. Yeah. Huh? Any questions, anyone? Sir, for <clears throat> sir, for each DCP pool, we should create a, a DCP helper. Sorry. Can you repeat again? Sir, for each uh, DCP yeah, for pool. Yeah, e for every pool, right? If you have a 1000 subnet, for the 1000 subnet, you need to create the 1000 pool. Yes. That's a basic thing, right? Because every pool has a separate subnet, right? Every pool has a separate subnet. Even if you have a child, yesterday we have seen this concept, right? Parent, child, and child pool, right? Parent pool or child pool. In the child pool, what happened? You are allocating the one IP and we are mapping with the MAC address. So if the MAC address is Z, always IP will get the one or 10. English Which language. IP we can give as a IP helper address? I mean, router may have many IPs, right? Any of the IP we can give? Or? You can give any IP, but that IP should be reachable. I have yeah. given this IP on this particular interface. Which IP I gave? Forty not one. That is, and this should be reachable. If your reachability is not there. You cannot get the IP. You cannot get the DS, PC will not get the IP. Reachability should be whatever the IP. Either you can give this IP or this IP. Reachability should be there. Look back the law. Reachability only Jay by done. Chalo. It also do. Chalo. It also I'll give the one trouble. Sir, uh, sir, can you assign another uh, pool also? Yeah, we can assign it. On the IP helper, sir. IP, I didn't get you IP helper. Well, I, you want to assign the pool, no? With the helper, yes, sir, to ND. Okay, you want to get another pool, subnet? Sir. Okay, you, uh, do I want to add the another branch over there? Like yes. this? Okay, yes. perfect. Yeah. And also in the same branch, uh, F01, sir, can you assign another pool IP pool, sir? On which, uh, you are saying this one, this one submit? Yes, yes, yes. Ah, we can do that. So for that one, I need to, I'll next, my next topic is that one. The next topic is my that one, no worry. Okay, sir, the then no need for the another one, sir. Okay. So now I'll give the one uh, troubleshoot, guys, okay. Oh, I'm not. Let me stop recording, pausing, stop here, and uh, go and router.
Okay, now. Done. And uh, done. Yeah, I've disabled that screen, Hari. Uh, just to also to also, guys. I'm not getting the IP address. Nothing on R1, everything pool is configured. Pool is configured on R1. Okay, R3 is not getting the IP address. No help address. Yeah, you look at my character also to know. Help address is also configured. You not see the ritualty? Ritualty is also there. Do show IP root. Character also. Huh? Ah, yeah. So control plane. Post open post. अतः है ना DSCB सर और आप सोरेन सेक्शन DSCB क्या दिखाओ सर्विस DSCB इनेवल डन गुनार्थी सर्टी डाउन नो सर्टी कर दिया नहीं अभी यहाँ पे कहाँ पे जहाँ तो बताइए कहाँ देखते हैं आपसे सर्वे डीएसपी सिंगल ऑन द बोर्ड सिक्सटी सेवेन सिक्सटी सेवेन इज़ अप आप बताओ आप बता दो तो मैं जाऊँगा same wheel. switch with the wheel and accessory list the switch camera there's no cl access i have a pool configure on a r1 order pool is working fine dscp service is enabled 67 dscp service is enabled 67 right on a r4 as well as service is never and my on this particular interface help address is configured right on a r1 static row is also there UDP should enable in server mode. Sorry? UDP should enable. UDP is enable or disable? None. Mark this. Into the conference or check that. Sir, down. UDP was deny, deny guys over there. I denied the UDP. That's right. What IP? One, any questions? Not clear. Okay. Sir, hidden command is uh, inbuilt, or uh, we have to assign. Sorry, which command? Hidden command in service. Uh, uh, no, no, that's enabled by default. You don't need to. I just uh, show you that command. That's it. It's a enabled by default. Okay. Uh, is it is it's uh, it's is it possible in normal scenario? Normal scenario, of course, Anuz, is possible, right? DHCP. Anything else? Okay, one more thing I want to show you. 
Sir, can you explain this one again, sir? On what I did, uh, Javed, on this uh, first, what happened is on a router number one, every pool was configured perfectly, right? Only I did a mistake over there. On this particular router, I disabled the service DSCP, right? So if you disable the service DSCP, what happened? The port number 67 will be not work, right? So if the port number 67 will not work, they will not accept the packet. Because after configure the relay agent, what happened? This guy, this guy is behave like a DHCP server. Okay. After that, what I did, I deny the UDP over there. Deny UDP in any in ACL. So if this person after, if you're going to enable the service DSCP, what happened? The router number four is sending the discover packet, right? The router number four is sending the discover packet. So once the router number four is sending the discover packet on a R1 on this particular interface, ACL was denying the UDP. So they are not sending the offer packet to the disk. That's why this PC was not getting the IP address. So once I removed the ACL, after that, the PC got the IP. Okay. DCP. Two different VLANs. This one is actually. I'm a timer discuss collega timers. Maybe this will be. मुझे बता देना कहाँ पे खत्म करना है डीएसबी मैं तुम्हें कराते रहूँगा मुझे डीएसबी लास्ट मिनट वाली है लॉजिस्टिक्स में साल में अब लाल है देखा नहीं क्या तुमने? DSCP सब वो? Right. This user is present in which VLAN? Ten. This user is present in which VLAN? Twenty. Some time going to use between this guy. One ninety one sixty one or zero slash twenty four. This guy. Slash 24, right? R1, R2, R3, switch. मैंने सब बोला नॉम नॉम में बैठे बैठे ना भाई सा मैंने मम्मी पापा ने बोला कि तू पूरा महाभारत देखेगा पूरा रामायण देखेगा मैंने कहा कि तू तो मैं पूरा पृथ्वी दांत चौहान पता ही नहीं कई का देख लिया था महाराणा प्रताप का छः सौ बीसर था वो देख गया लास्ट में कुछ नहीं होता तब बैठा सिवाजी देख LAN, VLAN 10, right? Done. Network. Slash 24. Default order. 100. IP DC pool 20. Network. Slash 24. 100. Done. Exit. Done, huh? अब मुझे ये बताओ 
let's go on switch first of all enable interface 0 slash 0 interface gig 0 slash 0 switch port access vlan number 10 interface gig 0 slash 1 switch port access vlan number 20 cc ne parakha inter vlan routing good now guys try to understand nahi parakha <laughs> you don't know inter vlan routing CCNA में इंटर विलान नोटिंग पढ़ाया था ना हाँ पढ़ाया होगा कौन ट्रेनर था ना ना जो आप ट्रेनर कौन नो 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 ओ भाई साहब एक मिनट गाइस वन मिनट अब ये क्या इंटर विलान नोटिंग डेट प्रोवाइडिंग कम्युनिकेशन बिटवीन द टू सबमिट डेट्स इंटर विलान नोटिंग हाँ वही Wait, that is the virtual interface, right? Same also. So no, my bad. Up, yeah, sir. Guys, try to understand one thing. Hey, here. I have a single interface. On this single interface, either I can configure the one or zero subnet IP, or either I can configure the two or zero subnet IP. So either you can do one thing. I can take a two cables, right? Zero slash one. I can put this one cable for the two dot zero subnet, and one cable I can put for the one dot zero subnet. Right? That's never a feasible solution, right? So what I can do, I'm just going to split this interface, right? I'm just going to split this interface, right? I just go on the interface zero slash zero, and what I'm going to do? Sorry. Interface zero slash zero dot ten right. Encapsulation dot one q. IP address will be done. Interface zero slash zero dot twenty. Encapsulation dot one q. Villa number. IP address will be. Sorry, I need to put the subject number over there. Do so IP interface brief. Single interface is now going to split in the two sub interfaces, right? This mechanism is known as a sub interfaces. पढ़ाया होगा बे सीसी ने पढ़ा रखा है ये सब चीज़ बीस क्या यार ऐसे कैसे होता है बेसिक चीज है यार तो तुम्हारी गलती तुमने ट्रेनर को मारा क्यों जो हम पढ़ने आए हैं उसने पूछे देखो सी सिंपल सा रीजन इस देर दैट्स व्हाई आई एम टेलिंग यू रीड द बुक बुक्स आर गिविंग एवरीथिंग मे बी ट्रेनर फॉरगेट टू टीच यू राइट it's not happening the trainer is not a good trainer always trainer is going to teach you maybe you forget or maybe the trainer will forget you. it's not every time the trainer is not going to even reach anything right okay so maybe the trainer will forget you maybe they taught you you forget anything can happen right this is more the book pada guru read the book if something is missing let me know i can help you simple the logic bhai done clear if aage chale he was in uh... मेरा कमेंट दिखाना क्या इसमें सर एनकैप्सुलेशन डॉट वन क्यू मींस इट्स प्रोटोकॉल इट्स अ प्रोटोकॉल डॉट वन क्यू यू डोंट नो द डॉट वन क्यू प्रोटोकॉल यस सर आई नो आई या दैट इज गोइंग टू आईडेंटिफाई द आर्किट्स राइट आईडेंटिफाई द फ्रेम यार तुम लोग ऐसे करो ना जिससे सीसी ने पढ़ के नहीं आया तुम लोग यार सीरियसली मतलब ऐसे हाँ या ये सोच है हाँ ट्रंक चलाएंगे अभी यार तुम लोगों को पता है तुम लोगों का बेसिक उड़ा पड़ा है आई थॉट डेट यू नो दिस थिंग और डेट्स नॉट माय इश्यूज ब्रो डेट्स अ पार्ट ऑफ वेरी बेसिक पार्ट इस द 
तुम अपने सीसी ने जस्ट गो थ्रू द टूल एंड द सीसी ने दिस थिंग इज गिवन राइट हाउ टू परफॉर्म द इंटरव्यू एंड डाउटिंग ये सीसी ने का टॉपिक है अब मुझे ये पता होता कि तुम लोगों को ये पता नहीं फिर आई नो दैट इफ यू डोंट नो यू डोंट नो दिस थिंग देन व्हाई शुड आई टीच यू द बेसिक थिंग लॉजिक सिंपल था ना मैं कभी नहीं पढ़ा था इंटरव्यू आई नेवर 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 एवर टीच द इंटरव्यू एंड डाउटिंग द सीसी थिंग You have to read this part, guys. That's what I'm telling to the, every person. Please read the CCN and tool lab. Tool lab. Everything is given in the tool lab. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. Dot one Q. I'm just enabling to identify the frame, right? Encapsulation dot one Q. Either you can use the ISL as well as the tagging protocol. The ten I'm just configuring. This is the VLAN number over there, and the same VLAN number has to be. On this side, this is sub interface number, not the. You can take any number. It's sub 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 interface number, but it has to be same on the both side. Same thing. We have number twenty interface number, and you need to put the no shutdown command on the physical interface, not to the virtual interface. This interface you have to configure. It's not sub interface. You have to configure on the physical interface, not in the sub interfaces. Do show IP interface brief. Then. On this search, what we have to do? Interface gig zero slash two, right? I need to configure this interface as a trunk, right? Switch port trunk encapsulation dot one q. Switch port mode trunk, so that they can carry the two VLAN traffic, right? VLAN number ten and twenty is configured on this side. 10 and 20 so that this guy can carry can the multiple vlan traffic now go to the routers interface 0/0 slash capture this link interface 0/0 slash ip address dscp no shut down r3 Interface zero slash zero, IP address DSCP no shut down. I have it in here. I have it in here. Two VLAN brief. Jata slow again. Let's see. VLAN number ten and twenty. I just trying to find the right way. This. R three zero slash zero no shut down IP address DSCP R two this interface no shut down IP address DSCP right switch sir on router side we should also trunk or not sir the port sir no I configure the trunk trunk is there no need to configure on the side on router side sir F zero slash zero You only need to configure the trunk on this side. I have a trunk. I have a trunk. You only need to configure on this side. They are carrying the VLAN. Click zero slash two. So interface status. One minute. Probably let me do it slow. Status.
Okay, those two is at 24, 210, 120, right? And all good. Copy, right? One R1. This type interface is brief. Interface is last zero, shut down. Yeah, now guys get the getting the IPs. See, I just flat the interface. Like some packet was just stuck. Guys, have a look. Source port address port C202, right? R2, R2 MAC address. Do so interface 0 slash 0, include BIA. Right? Any questions? This is how you are going to make a, this guy is not getting, let's do one thing, let's go on R3 and shut down again. Shut down. And also. Come on, man. Yeah. Whatever panic line. Come on. Give us some time. Yes, they will get the IP address, right? Just because my this device is a little slow, right? The switches, right? They will get the IP address. Configurations because this PC got the IP address. Oh, hello. This PC got the IP address, so this PC also will get the IP address. No way. See that is getting or not. Push or interface zero slash zero. This is ten figure, right? Do this practical yourself. The configuration is correct, right? The same configuration you have to do. Doesn't matter how many VLANs you have. You just need to get the multiple sub interfaces, right? That's it. Nothing else, right? Because maybe my the iOS bug is there, right? So this guy got the. Uh, here is Sir, here is showing the sub the administration shut down sub deport. No, I have that one. This I have it. Okay, do this way. So it's, it's very easy, right? Nothing hard. All this. All good. Now. Yeah. Uh, see, it's depend on the platform. There is a basically no limit. You have a, I think so. I've read somewhere, right? Depend on the platform, some limit is there, but you can go max to max. I think so, 200 something here around, right? I'm not 100% sure. You have to check on the data set. Let's see now how many server interfaces. Some done now. R4, R5. <laughs> Interface zero slash zero IP address will be okay. 
R5. This is my server, DSCP server, right? IP address DS, uh, one hour slash 24. No shutdown. Done. IP DSC pool. CCNA network. 100 slash 24. And default order will be done. This is my DSCP server. Done. R4. Capture this link. IP address DHCP no shutdown. Discover transaction ID that is also known as session ID, right? 32 bit number. Offer packet. In this offer packet, we have discussed this option field. We have done with the, this option field as well as, and also we have done with the one more option field. I don't know what's which. Uh, client identifier, right? Client identifier. Option number 61. I think so. Right? We have also this uh, done with the option field. The next one we have three things are there. 51, 58, and 50 number 9. Chalo ji, isko dekhte kya hota hai. Guys, have a look. Pulled, I have again. Yeah. DSCP server, and this is the client, right? When DSCP client is making a request, I mean, say the discover packet, right? The server is giving the offer packet, discover, offer, right? Done. When R5 is giving the offer packet to the client, right? In this offer packet, what information are they putting? They are putting the IP addresses and they are putting the timers, right? The default timer is what? If you read somewhere in a book, right? The default timer is 24 hours. It means that this IP that I'm going to allocate this person is only valid for the 24 hours. This 24 hours is known as a which time? Least time. This 24 hours is known as a least time that we can say the one day and 86,400 second. Right? Mm -hmm. Done. In Bitmain, what happened? The router number four and number five, or because the client and server is going to make a one logical session. Now try to understand this point is a little bit logical, but it's very easy. Logical session. And this logical session has the identifier will be one. Transaction ID, we can call it, right? This transaction ID I'm talking about. And this transaction ID has to be same, right? Can you see that? Mm -hmm. Right. Now, Whenever the client is going to make a transaction uh, session with the server, this uh, this is the transaction ID we have. Now tell me what happened if the 24 hours will be expired. What happened? Again, R4 is going to make a discover packet. He will give the offer packet. And again, he's going to make a, another logical session. 
after 24 hours again. This core packet, offer packet, make other logical system. I mean the complete Dota process, right? Again, 24 hours, what happened? Discover, offer, logical session. Yeah, if the least time expired then, right? So least time expired, if the least time expired then, then it will make a different, different logical session. If this server is going to make a logical session many times, what happened? CPU will be high. And try to understand if this client has a 10,000 user, right? Then, sorry, if the server has a 10,000 clients, then it's not a logical system. Or 24 hours, every 24 hours, logical system, every 24 hour logical system, every 24 hour logical system, every 24 hour logical system. CPU has a client server, right? So to avoid this problem, what they introduce? Renewal time. What is the meaning of renewal? Before, before the time would expire, please renew my IP address. Not IP, please renew my timer. Before the IP addressing ex expire, Sorry, before the least time will expire. Client request to server, please renew my IP address. I'm not going to breaking the logical system. Listen to me. I'm not breaking a logical system. I'm not going to break the logical system. I'm just telling that, hey, please renew my IP addresses. I'm not breaking a logical system. I'm just telling you, please renew my IP addresses. Take exam. Huh? Ah, renew, renew my, not IP, least time. Right? Now, what is the re uh, re uh, renewal time is there? It means that half of the 24 hours. UDP is what? DHCP works on the UDP, right? Mm -hmm. And UDP? Connectionless. So tell me one thing. If this person has sent the one request, please renew my uh, lease time. What happened if this packet will drop in this bit, in between? It's a UDP base, right? I cannot retransmit. UDP packet cannot retransmit, right? Never. So to avoid this problem, what they will introduce? After 20, 12 hours, what happened? Before the three hours, that is a 21 hours, reminding them, hey, again, it will say that, please, the uh, like a uh, reset my least time. If the server is not responding of this thing, then your logical system will break, and after that, new logical system will be made until or unless this guy this timer will be not expire. Right? Until or unless this timer will not expire, your logical system will not get right. If I will get the reply, if I say the request to this guy, hey, if I get the reply, what happened? This time I will be again reset to the 24 hours. And your IP will be again go for the 24 hours. Your, your IP will be never removed by the PC. This is how the three timers we have. Let's do the practical. What I can do right now? R5. IP DC pool CC in it, right? Okay. I say the least time. Zero day. Zero hour. How many minutes? Three minutes. Then zero day. Zero hour. Three minutes. I have a sign for three minutes only, right? No shutdown.
ऑफर पैकेट Hmm. What at least I have configured over there, right? This time is three minutes. Renewable is what? Ninety second. And rebanding is what? Two minutes thirty seven second. Wait, करो. क्या करो? मीन बाइल आईपी तो मिल गई ना आर फोर गेट तो आईपी एस वन और टू राइट वेट तो कर लो पहले रिन्यूअल कौन देता है सिस्टम रिन्यूअल नहीं समझे मैंने तो जाके दिया ठीक है हमारे बीच में एक सेशन बन गया आपके लिए क्या होगा कि अगर वो सेशन एक्सपायर हो जाएगा तो फिर से दोबारा सेशन बना लेगा तो उसके लिए क्या किया उन्होंने एक रिन्यूअल टाइम इंक्लूड कर दिया तो उससे क्या हाँ तो हाँ ये अंदर ही मैं क्या करूँगा पता है तुझे एक रिक्वेस्ट भेजूंगा कि मेरी वो जो लिस्ट आगे ना उसको बढ़ा दो हाँ मतलब रिसेट कर दो जो बारह घंटे आ गए थे चौबीस से बारह घंटे पे आए बारह घंटे पे उसने रिन्यूअल रिक्वेस्ट भेज दिया तो क्या होगा जैसे तुम्हारे पास रिक्वेस्ट पहुँचा तुमने रिप्लाई दे दिया तो मेरा क्या होगा बारह घंटे से फिर चौबीस घंटे बढ़ जाएगा जीएनएस थ्री स्लो है तरह से बट हो जाएगा हो जाएगा बट इट विल वर्क यू हैव टू बी पेस पेशेंस बहुत चल गया भाई बाद में सेम आईपी आया ऐसा जो भी सेम आईपी बोला था जो आईपी तो आईपी ना वही आईपी आएगी आईपी तो वही आएगी भाई आईपी वही आएगी तो वेस्ट है क्या तो मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट थिंग यू हैव टू लुक अप वॉट आई एम नॉट ब्रेकिंग द सिस्टम पानी यही है भाई पानी यही है प्रेम होने के बाद पूछ रहा हूँ आईपी सेम आएगी हाँ आईपी सेम ही आ रही है ना आईपी थोड़ी चेंज हो रही है देख आईपी थोड़ी ना चेंज हो रही है आईपी तो स्टिल मेरी सेम ही है सो ब्रेक होने के बाद हाँ ब्रेक होने के बाद तो डिफरेंट आईपी आएगी ना कहाँ वही तो पूछ रहा हूँ आप सेम सेम कर रहे हैं मैं सेम सेम क लॉजिकल सेशन एंड इट रीनिशियट दॉजिकल सेशन एंड इट विल डिफरेंट आई तो या मेरा अगर मान लो मेरा ये रिचुअलिटी हुआ ही नहीं सर्वर से आता वंस माय रिचुअलिटी इज नॉट देयर विद द सर्वर आई टेक एग्जांपल ही मेड अ रिक्वेस्ट टू द दिस गाय हे 
रिक्वेस्ट किया रिक्वेस्ट है प्लीज रिन्यू माई लीज टाइम वट हेपन इज दिस पैकेट इज नॉट रिच टू दर्वर जस्ट बिकॉज ऑफ द कंजेंशन विल हेपन ऑन दिस लिंक राइट In that case, what happened? It will reinitiate the session after the 24 hours. If the logical system breaks, right? Of course, transaction ID number will be changed over there. If the third time also will not reach there. Again, I'm going to break the logical system. See, third time I'm just putting. If the second time is not happened, then third time it may be happened because UDP is a connection is. It is not going to retransmit the packet. Logics. Try to understand the logics. After many hours, twenty-four hours. Twenty-four hours. Yeah, try it. One minute. One minute. One minute. See, three minutes is there, right? I got the IP address one ninety two dot one sixty dot one one. Listen to me. Hey, listen to me. Listen to me. One one IP address, right? What happened? I have three minutes over there. Once this timer will come to the Uh, one eighty second, right? One seventy second, one fifty second, one thirty second, one twenty second, right? One one ten second, one hundred second, ninety five second, ninety four, ninety three, ninety two, ninety one. This was a logical system. Logical system number one, ninety. It will make a request packet. Please renew my renewal time, right? It will give the acknowledge. What happened? This time will move to the again one eighty second. फिफ्टी Once it will reach this time, all right? What happened? Again, it will make a request. Please demand my time. If this guy will give the acknowledge, then what happened? Your time will be reset to three minutes. Otherwise, what happened? Your session will be break after the this guy. After the three minutes, your session will break, and it will make a new session. If the server will reachable, if the server will reachable, they will break a they will make a new session. This is how your time will work. You can change this time that I change right while using the least cam command. Clear, clear. Guys, we have a one more command over there. Least. So no need to assign a renew renewal command. It is no, automatically. No, there is no command. There is no command for that one. If you're just going to change the lease time according to that, they will change the renewal time and rebinding time. Okay, so it, it, this timing is only in offer packet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Acknowledge packet also. Acknowledge packet also at this time. then question is that where should i use the lease element this is your task guys please find the information where should i use this command in which scenario right where should i use this command lease infinite for server segment Which segment? So for lifelong IP banding, but for in which case? The question is that in which case? Where should I use in production network? Like in a real uh, time network, where should I use this command? Please find for which purpose? I'll tell you one thing. In a CCI exam, you will get all the lease in front. Yeah, exactly for the servers. Nay, need to. For the servers, we can assign the lease in front. We are making a child pool, right? We are making a child pool, and in the child pool, what happened? We are allocating the IP address to the particular MAC address, right? And that why we are doing that this thing just because of the server. For the server, in that case, you can use the lease in front. 
Any questions? So guys, here I am done of your DHCP. Suno meri baat. DHCP. DHCP security just all pending. That your DHCP is snooping. Okay. Then uh, IP source guard and RP inspection. Yeah. Starting. Can I be shown? Acha, that is. No, no. Ye bata IP DHCP excluded address. One dot one. To one dot two fifty. Done. I have resolved this range of IP address for the future reference. From which pool? How many IPs are there? One one two. One or two fifty five, right? Sorry, two fifty four. I have resolved this range of IP address for the future reference, or we can say that for the static IP address configuration. Like HSRP, like HSRP, right? You are giving the HSRP IP addresses, the virtual IP addresses. So in this case, what happened? The DHCP server is not going to allocate any IP from this range. So now if you go back to the router floor and say that, hey, interface zero slash zero shut down. Which I'm getting over there. Because I already reserved for the how many? How to clear the DSC pool? Uh, like, you know, uh, like, clear, do you want to clear the DSC binding or DSC pool? DCP pool, sir. Sometimes they release, I feel happy, it falls deep. So, open the release. IP DSCP, this command is not a pool. Yeah, this command is there in a pool. Clear. They put the pool name, whatever the pool name is. Then, binding subnets strict. Clear. You can also assign in IP DSCP excluded address, you can also assign the single IP address. It's not like that you are going to assign the complete range. You can also send a single one if you want. Huh? No, of course, no, pool, pool is not required, of course. For the excluded IP, you are not going to require the pool. Exclude means what? I'm excluding it, right? I'm excluding it from the pool, the pool that I have created, which pool? This pool. Done, any questions, anyone? No. Clear? Vavik Devendra Dilip, Dipin Hemlata Javed, Ketan Manish Pandey, Nandan, Dilesh Shau, and Pratadip. Any questions? Uh, sir, and layer 3 switch, uh, the same, the configuration, everything is same? Everything is same on the layer 3 switch. That's it. Nothing is different. Everything is same in the layer 3. You just need to create the SBI over there, right? Switch virtual interface. Do this task with the uh, like a layer three, right? And let me know if you are not able to do that. I will help you in, as well as. First, do yourself. If you're not able to do that, let me know. I can help you out. Nothing is different. Sir, yeah. Sir, we also didn't touch the debug commands. Uh... Yeah. See, uh, Javed, what is the meaning of debug command? I'll tell you one thing. Debug means what? Debug, see if the first of all debug command is never ever recommendation to use in production network. First thing, not recommendation, never ever recommendation to use in the Cisco lab exam. Because debug command is directly hitting on the CPU. 
whatever the debug information that you are getting right every debug information is directly hitting on the cpu your cpu is very 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 high but based on the debug command you can gather the multiple information you can't imagine that based on the debug you will learn many 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 things that is not even given in the books why we are using the debug command what debug command is going to do? debug command it just going to show you the background information background information about what command you are putting on the router for example on this particular interface interface 0 slash 0 ip address i'm putting 191.1.1 how many people are thinking what happened with this command what we are thinking this command is using is used to assign the ip address to the particular interface but guys actually this command is going to create the routing table as well as How do I check it? I just need to see the debug IP routing. See? Interface 0 slash 0, shut down, right? Debug IP routing. Okay? Interface 0 slash 0, no IP address. I said the IP address will be done. See what happened. No shutdown. My routing table is added. If you're not going to enable the debug, right? If you're not going to enable the debug, you will never get this message. This all thing is happening in the background. And if I'm going to shut down this interface, what happened? The routing table will be deleted. Your network will be deleted from your table. Right? And if I'm going to disable this command, do you all, let's undebug everything. Let's disable the debug. And now if you see, I can say that no shutdown. Will I get any uh, information? No, but my routing table will build up. See? Because debug is disabled, right? So debug is giving the background information what is happening on route. Same thing, debug IP, DHCP, server. If you see, we have a class base address location we have events we have linkage we have packets we have written each command has a different different meaning for example if you put the like a packet information they will show you how many packets they are extending between the server and clients like a discover packet offer packet right if you put the event over there uh, event information they will show you whatever the lease expressions are having how the address assignment will to the client with the mac address so depend on the like you know debug commands they will give you the different different output based on the debug command they will give you the different different output do you know see you all after the ip dsc pool right the pool name is abc and network i'm going to sign 1.0.0.0 slash it am i getting any debug message right now no so in this way what happened it's very hard to right it's very hard to understand what happened in the background but if I'm going to put the debug IP DHCP server events, now create the any pool, IP DHCP pool. What happened? I'm going to this passes. So debug has will give the detailed information what's happening in the background with the particular commands. And each debug has a different unit, different meaning. If you go for like a debug PHGRP packets, so they will see you what packets you're going to enable the debug. You are going to SI Curie, SI reply, hello, Curie, whatever the you want, you can do that. So every debug has a different, different meaning, but it's never ever the condition to enable it. As so the debug IP packet. If I put the debug IP packet detail, what happened? Whatever the packet that is exchanged on the router. EHRP, OSPF, normal packet, to anything, it will show you. See, I said that, okay, let's do one thing. I said the ping, what is the IP address I have? 101. See, they are giving the information. What is the source IP address? What is the destination IP address? What is the type code? Every single information they will give you. 
averaging source IP address, local distance IP address, one on one on which interface I'm going to route this packet 0 slash 0 from where, where from routing information base that is known as routing table. What is the length of the packet? What is the ICMP type code? Every single thing they will give you information. That's how the debug is going to be worked, guys. Javed, clear now? Yes, sir. Debug is clear now. Any else, any question, guys? Uh, guys, sir, let me. Yeah. Sir, how we know that how much the uh, IP uh, my DCP assigned to the client, sir? So uh, like, uh, you can not... you can get from here. Uh, what the command is uh, IP interface brief. So you can use this command show IP DHCP. I think so. Pool was in from something like yeah, from here you can get it. Uh, I'm going to assign, see, lease address is one right now. So I've only one use that I've assigned a lease address. So IPDSA pool. So you can also get how many address we have total. So in the CCNA pool, I have a total address is 254 because the submit I'm going to use 191 to 1.0 slash 24, right? And if you see the pool ABC that I have used the submit 1.0 slash 24, so this range is there. I haven't assigned any address, that's a lease address is zero over there. Same thing if you see the different address, different food, they have different, different range over there. I haven't assigned anyone, so that's why I'm saying the zero. Don't worry, we'll discuss the verification command. I haven't discussed the verification command. I haven't discussed the DSCP snooping, RP inspection, or IP source card. Except anything, if you want to learn, let me know. DSCP snooping, IP source card, IP RP inspection, and verification command. Except this thing, if you want to learn anything in the DSP, let me know. Okay, sir. Anything that you want from my side? Tomorrow, do we have BGP class? Uh, tomorrow, we have a BGP class. Okay. Will class tomorrow? No, class will be on Monday. No classes tomorrow? No, class on Monday. Hmm? Yeah, what is it? जल्दी <laughs> <laughs> So tomorrow we have a BGP class, right? Tomorrow we have a BGP 6 a.m. Okay. DSCP will happen on the Monday now. Okay. Switching is not there, right? No, switching is not there. Only BGP is there. Okay. Anything you want to learn from my side in the DSCP, let me know. <laughs> Random. Okay, guys. Then see you on the Monday. Venus Okay, guys. Bye bye. Venus Okay, guys. Bye bye.